let me show you how to teleport your OBS output to different PC or rather send your OBS output to different PCs. And the best part is you don't need any NDI to, to be able to do this. Just with this single OBS plugin that is 100% free, you're not paying a dime for it. You can be able to send the OBS output to different PC. And this plugin is available for both Windows and Mac. And everything about this plugin, how to set it up, the setting you should be using is what we're going to be discussing in today's tutorial. If this is the first time of coming, I'm Poteki. I remember to smash that subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell, and don't also forget that I left a link for consultation in the description of this video. You can also use that to reach out to me. the name of this plugin is called teleport and that's the plugin we're going to be setting up today now over here on the screen you can see it the name teleport 0.7.2 and it was created in the year 2022 the last update was done on june 21st 2024 now go ahead click the link i drop in the description of this video and you get straight to this web page here to be able to download the teleport plugin now once you finish downloading that let's just go ahead and install it right click and then open and once you're running the plugin will install on your pc now once the plugin has finished installing the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and open the obs software so the first thing you're going to do is to go ahead and open the obs software on your pc and make sure that the one you are installing the plugin the obs software is now running here we have two different obs screen you have the first one there and then we have the second one there now whatever thing that is here is different from whatever thing that is here and let me show you how to be able to set up this plugin and go over to the first obs system that's the sender now because you're going to have the sender and then the receiver now make sure that these two pcs are connected to the same network it can be a wi-fi you can use your router just connect two of them to the same network so that this one will be able to see this one all right so the first one will be able to see the second one go over to the sender click on the top of the screen where you have the tools now from here you're going to see teleports click on it you see the teleport enabled click on that and then over here on the port you can just use any number 2015 or 2025 let me use 2015 over here and then you can set the quality okay from 0 to 100 and then once you are done go ahead and click on okay now this system now is the sender is already sending now the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and move over to the receiver that's the system that is going to be receiving the signal. Now, what we just did now, we'll just set it up on the sender. This is going to be our system for receiver. And this one is going to be the one receiving the signal. And remember, connect the two systems or the two PC or laptop, whichever one to the same router. It can be the same network or the same Wi-Fi or using your Ethernet cable. Just make sure they are connected to the same network. Once so the system that is going to be receiving, click on the add button here. That's this plus button at the bottom of the screen. Click on that. And then you're going to see teleport. That is it here. Click on the teleport. And from here, I can just, just, you can limit anything you want. And once you're done, go ahead and click on OK. Here on the screen. And this is what he's going to give you. You can see here, teleport disabled. Click on that. And you're going to see the sender system. Now, if the two systems are not connected to the same network or the same Wi-Fi or router, you won't be able to see it. But because they are connected, you can be able to see it. Here. You can see different IP address and you can select whichever one you want. I'm going to speak this one and click on OK. And let me show you how it looks like. Let me just reduce this. Listen. If you take a look at in front of me, and that is the video signal that is coming in from the system that is sending, and this particular system is receiving, and you can see that is the video signal right there in front of me. And you can skip that this up, increase the quality, reduce the quality, increase the size, do whatever thing you want to do on it. And whatever changes you're making on the sender is also going to be reflecting on the receiver as well. And also, do here just a quick recap of everything on how you can be able to set this up once again. And let's go over to this here. Now, on the system that is resending, go ahead and click on, on the tools at the top of the screen. You're going to see teleport. And don't forget, if you do not see this teleport, it means that the plug plugin was not successfully installed. Just restart your system and you should be able to see it. Now click on the teleport 
enabled this you can see here it's not enabled and that is because this system is the one receiving and not sending if it's one sending just enable this and you could set your port number and the quality from zero to hundred i'm just going to go ahead close this and when you go over to the system that is going to be receiving click on this add button here this this add source here and you're also going to see teleport at the same time you just click on that teleport to bring in and then click on ok and then you'll be able to see all the video output that is coming in from your sender or the ip address that is connected and you'll be able to select that and bring in your video um, signal that is coming in from your sender obs and this is how to be able to properly set this up on your own obs um system and don't also forget to smash that like button if you find it helpful so the youtube algorithm can also recommend it to as many people as it can and subscribe to the channel if you haven't turned on the notification bell and i've also left the consultation link in the description of this video go ahead and check that out you could also use that to both have a private conversation with me or just book a consultation section for us to talk about some of the challenges you're having thank you very much and see you on the next one